Welcome to Two Projects. In this video, we are going to explain the project, a blockchain-based fake product identification system. Introduction. Counterfeit products are unauthorized or fake replicas of genuine products often produced and sold with the intent to deceive consumers or profit from the reputation of the genuine products. The primary goal of this project is to enhance product authentication and combat counterfeits. Traditional product authentication methods have two main problems. First, they are not very good at stopping fake products from being sold, resulting in economic losses and potential risk to consumers. Second, they often depend on middlemen or authorities that might not always be honest, making it hard to trust the authentication process. To overcome these challenges, we are integrating blockchain technology. Blockchain is like a digital ledger that records transactions securely and transparently. In this case, it is used to store information regarding product origins, verification processes and authenticity checks. Instead of having all the data in one place, blockchain stores records as blocks of data, each with a unique code called a hash. These blocks are distributed across multiple computers or nodes, making it much harder for anyone to tamper with the data or compromise the entire system. Blockchain offers several advantages. First, it is decentralized, meaning the data isn't stored in one vulnerable location. Second, it enhances security because the data is stored in encrypted format that is very difficult to alter or hack. Third, it promotes transparency as all transactions are recorded and visible to authorized users. Fourth, it ensures data immutability, meaning once something is recorded in the blockchain, it can't be easily changed. Finally, it is resilient to failures because even if some nodes go down, others continue to maintain the data. And in this project, we use Ethereum, a blockchain platform famous for its creation of smart contracts. These are like digital agreements where all the terms are written in code. These contracts are programmed to verify and authenticate products based on predetermined criteria, reducing the need for intermediaries and enhancing security. Object of the project So, as I mentioned earlier, we are dedicated to establishing a highly secure blockchain system to combat counterfeit products across industries, ensuring transparency, consumer protection and safeguarding authentic brand's reputation. Our goal is to create an unchangeable product database using blockchain technology. This empowers stakeholders to effortlessly trace a product's origins, manufacturing history and distribution pathways, thereby enhancing consumer trust in their purchases. Collaboration with manufacturers, sellers and consumers is at the heart of this project. We aim to create a standardized integration protocol for blockchain within supply chains. This simplifies the adoption of blockchain technology and leads to a reduction in counterfeit products throughout the supply chain. And this project's focus extends to the evaluation of economic and environmental impacts. We monitor the reduction of counterfeit products, mitigate associated risks, and promote genuine products. Through this assessment, we highlight the sustainability benefits of authentic products all while ensuring consumer protection. Requirements needed to execute this project are Software requirements Python IDLE of 3.7.0 version Node.js Visual Studio Community version Ganache and Metamask Chrome extension Backend languages used are Python, JavaScript and Solidity Framework used is Flask Frontend languages required are HTML, CSS, JS and Bootstrap 4 Hardware requirements needed are Processor of i5 and above RAM of 8GB and above ROM of 25GB and above Execution of the project To execute this project, first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files So this is contracts folder in which I have solidity files They handle data structures, functions and events with modifiers for validation this is static folder. It consists of files related to CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap. This is templates folder. This folder contains all the HTML pages used in the project. It typically includes files like index.html, about.html, etc. which represent different pages of the website. This is app.py file. This .py file contains the information related to frontend logic. 
It includes code written in Python that handles server-side operations such as processing user requests, interacting with the database and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the HTML pages. And this is Random Bad File to Start Fake Product Identification System. So before that, first we need to host the server. For that, open the Ganache. So the server has been hosted. Now minimize this. Now double click on Random Bad File to Start Fake Product Identification System. Instead of executing the project through command line interface, we have created these Windows bat files to execute this project. So the Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address local host unport unless configured differently. Now copy the local link provided by the framework. I'm copying it and paste it into any web browser. I prefer Chrome. After pasting it, hit the enter button. So the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser. This is the front end built using Flask framework. So here we can see manufacturer login, seller login, customer sign up and customer login links. Click on manufacturer login link. Give the credentials, username and password of manufacturer. And click on login button. So we have logged in as manufacturer and here we can see add seller, add product, view transactions, query seller, query customer and logout links. Click on add seller link. So here manufacturers can provide details about authorized sellers who will handle product distribution. Fill in all these details, seller username would be Raju, give the password, give the seller brand. I'm giving it as Bata. Seller code would be 123. Remember the seller code. Seller number is 1. Seller manager would be Suresh. Seller address is Hyderabad. After filling in all these details, click on Add Seller button. So in the red color text, we can see sign up process completed and record saved to blockchain. So all these seller details will be saved to blockchain in a form of block. And if we see in Ganache, we can see a block has been created in which all these details will be stored. Now minimize this. Click on Manufacturer Screen link. Now click on Add Products link. So here, manufacturers can add product details to the system. So product name would be shoes. Product serial number would be 1. Seller code is 123. So previously we have given seller code as 123. We must give the same here or else the product details will not be displayed in the seller portal. And product brand is Bata. Color would be black. Price would be 1000. And product size would be 12. Now click on add products button. So all these product details will be stored in blockchain. We can see that in Ganache. So a block has been created in which all these product details will be stored. And in MetaMask, click on extension here. We have to give the MetaMask password here. And click on unlock. So here we can see I have a balance of 99.9741 ETH in my MetaMask wallet which represents the deducted amount after recent transactions. Now click on Manufacturer Screen link. Click on View Transactions link. So here manufacturer can view details of payments made by seller. So we can see there are no details yet. Click on Admin Screen link. Click on Query Seller link. So here manufacturers can view details of the sellers. The seller name, password, seller brand, board, the number, manager and seller address. Now click on admin screen link. Click on query customer. So here manufacturer can view the details of consumers. We can see there are no registered consumers yet. 
now click on logout click on seller login link give the previously mentioned credentials of seller username is raju give the correct password and click on login button so we have logged in as seller raju and here we can see sell product query consumer and logout links click on sell product link So here sellers can check product details. They start by buying products from manufacturers and then sell these to consumers. So here we can see all product details and a click here link. By clicking on it, sellers can purchase the products from manufacturers to resell them. So I am clicking on click here link. In the red color text we can see purchase made successful. Now click on seller screen link. Click on query consumer link. So here sellers can view the details of the consumers who purchase their products. We can see there are no details yet. Click on logout. So if you are new customers we have to register first. Click on customer sign up link. Fill in all these details. The customer username would be Ram. Give the password. Give the email ID. Give the number. Give the address. And click on Add Customer button. So the customer details have been added to blockchain. Now click on customer login link. Give the previously mentioned credentials, username and password. Username is Ram. Give the correct password and click on login button. So we have logged in as customer Ram and here we can see authenticate product by product, query consumer and logout links. Now click on authenticate product link. So here we need to input the product serial number. If it matches, the system confirms it as genuine, else counterfeit. So previously we have mentioned the product serial number as 1. So I am giving it as 1. And now click on authenticate button. So here we can see in the red color text, product is genuine. We will try giving 3, which was not added by manufacturer. Click on authenticate button. So here we can see the red color text as fake product. Now click on customer screen link. Click on buy product link. So here consumers can view list of products posted by sellers. And we can also see a click here link. By clicking on it, we can place the order. So I am clicking on click here link. So here we can see purchase made successfully. Now click on customer screen link. Click on query consumer link. So here consumers can review their purchases. The product name, serial number, seller code, seller brand, product color, product price, product size and purchase time. Now click on logout. Now we log in as manufacturer again, click on manufacturer login link, give the credentials, and click on login. So we have logged in as manufacturer, now click on view transactions link. So here manufacturers can view the purchase made, we can see all the details from which seller the purchase has been made and the details of the product and purchase date and time. Now click on admin screen link. Click on query customer link. So here manufacturer can view the details of the registered customers. Click on logout. Now we log in as seller. Click on seller login link. Give the credentials of seller 
and click on login button. So we have logged in as seller Raju. Now click on query customer link. So here seller can view the details of the purchases made by consumers. Now click on log out. So all the transaction details and registration details will be stored in the blockchain as blocks and can be retrieved from there. If we see in the ganache, we can see the blocks created in which all these details will be stored. Click on any block. So here we can see block hash and the transaction hash. Click on transaction hash. So here we can see sender address, two contract address, gas used, gas price, gas limit and the transaction data. Now minimize this. If we open the MetaMask, so here we can see each balance remains unchanged after each block creation because the project's actions don't involve significant aid transfers. This is normal as not all operations lead to substantial balance changes. So the conclusion here is the project harnesses blockchain to empower consumers in distinguishing genuine items from counterfeits, bolstering trust in their purchases and product usage. Blockchain integration within supply chains effectively combats counterfeit products, elevating transparency, efficiency and trust throughout the product journey, consequently enhancing overall supply chain reliability. Collaborative efforts with manufacturers, sellers and consumers foster standardized blockchain integration protocols. This unity fights counterfeit products and encourages consistent adoption across diverse industries. The project delivers a user-friendly interface for consumers, simplifying the process of verifying product authenticity. This user-friendliness instills confidence in the genuineness of everyday purchases. And by diminishing counterfeit products and associated risks, the project acts as a pivotal guardian for consumers and markets. Additionally, it underscores the sustainability merits of supporting authentic products. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.